Hi, in this video today, I'm going to be talking with you about double vision, what causes it, and how we correct for it. Now, before I do that, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer, and our clinic is Vision for Life and Success. If you're local to us, you can call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You'll have a couple of options. You can just tool around the website, read our success stories, and get to know us through our website. You can take a quiz and you can also schedule a consultation. If you're ready for that next step for us to help you with your vision, then schedule a consultation. Now, what is double vision? Well, let's show you. I've got a picture that actually sits on my desk and I made a photocopy. And double vision occurs when the eyes are seen an object kind of split or not as a singular object. So it might look like it's overlapping like this. It may not overlap at all, but there might be some separation. That can also occur vertically with an overlap or separated. It can also happen diagonally, okay? Any of those things are possible in terms of how you see when you have double vision. Now, it can occur intermittently, which might mean that it's not happening all the time. It might be constant, or it might occur if someone is just looking off to one angle. So for instance, if they look over their shoulder when they're driving, they may notice double vision or up to the left corner or down to the right corner. So it might be specific to a location in which you're looking that you notice the double vision. Now there are three top binocular vision situations that will cause or could potentially cause someone to have double vision. So let's discuss those. The first one is a generalized binocular vision disorder. This occurs where a person may have difficulty looking from one distance to another. Let's say they're looking at a smart board at the end of the room in the classroom and they have to go back to look at their desk or from their desk to the smart board and they may notice that their eyes don't quite sync up quite right immediately when they go from one distance to another and they may notice or experience a double vision for a brief period of time. This can also happen if you're on a computer. Now another condition in which double vision can occur is called convergence insufficiency. This is where the two eyes don't want to line up and cross together as a team and stay lined up but one eye might tend to get kind of tired and turn off duty or you have difficulty kind of pulling that image together and keep the eyes lining up. So you might see the image kind of flex apart, almost like this. So kind of like this, okay? And that can occur with convergence insufficiency. Now another or a third binocular vision type of condition in which you might experience double vision is strabismus, where the eye is turning. An eye turn can occur either in, which is esotropia, out, which is exotropia, and in the up or down position, which could be hyper or hypotropia, and also at a diagonal, whew, cyclotropia. It's really confusing. But any of those forms of strabismus could potentially cause you to see double vision. Now, there are a lot of other visual possible causes of double vision. So let's talk about those briefly. One could be cataracts, um, another one could be macular degeneration, um, another one would be uh, the refractive condition of the eye. And what I mean by refractive condition is when a person is farsighted or hyperopia, um, nearsighted or has myopia, or has astigmatism. So if you have kind of a difference between the two eyes with that refractive condition, it's possible that you could get a double vision associated with that. Now those are the main, not only binocular vision disorders that can kind of cause double vision, also some of the less well-known generalized visual problems that can cause by not, um, double vision. So double vision can also come from a root cause of something more serious. Let's just mention those things because it's noteworthy and you definitely need to have the root cause rooted out, so to speak, to know why you've gotten the double vision to begin with. If it is more serious, we need to treat that. Some of these conditions include brain aneurysm, a brain tumor, traumatic brain injury, a stroke, myasthenia gravis, um, a condition called multiple sclerosis, which you might be more familiar with, um, diabetes, hypertension, thyroid eye disease. So there are quite a few other conditions that can cause double vision. It's really important to again root those out and make sure we have the proper diagnosis as to what's causing it. 
We might need to have treatment for that, obviously. And um, rooting out that cause might involve blood tests or MRIs and CAT scans. So again, super important to know what's our cause so we can treat it accurately. Now let's talk about how do we treat double vision once we know what it is and where it's coming from or what the root cause is. So next to me, I have several different tools here. I'm gonna to talk to you about how we use multiple sets of tools or multiple items in our phase two. But in phase one, which I talk about often, my favorite part, you know I love it, syntonics. So phase one of our program is utilizing syntonics or photo light therapy. Now, it's not just any kind of syntonics or photo light therapy that you just throw at and try a red filter or a green filter and let's see if that works. No, I'm actually talking about a very systematic approach um, utilizing the photo light therapy that I actually created myself and we use for all of our patients. It follows a kind of a very specific format and what we have found to be most effective for training people to not have double vision anymore and to correct for things like traumatic brain injury or strabismus or some of these other things that I've mentioned today. So we're following a systematic approach on how the brain heals itself and allows uh, the eyes to be able to learn how to cooperate together better as a team to get rid of the double vision. So that's phase one, wearing the syntonics goggles daily, depending upon the diagnosis and what's going on and what we're trying to treat. It might be for seven minutes a day that someone wears glasses, or it might be for 14 minutes a day that they wear the glasses. In phase two, then, they get assigned to a therapist and we start working with tools as if shown. Um, there's a tool such as this, pretty awesome, lenses, Okay, we've talked before about Brock string. This is a Brunella scope. So there are quite a few other items that we use in vision therapy, but in phase two, we're using multiple tools in order to teach you how to line up and use your two eyes better together. So your brain is directing the pathway of how your eyes are lining up. And we're teaching that in two ways, one through phase one, electrically signaling the muscles of the eyes to line up, and then two, in phase two, we're looking at and teaching you how to kind of mechanically line up and use your two eyes together as a team better to get rid of that double vision. Now, if you like this video, definitely hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you've not done so already so you don't miss any of our good videos. If this video is something that's like, oh my gosh, this is you, you or your child has double vision. It's time to take action. So give us a call if you're local at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and schedule a consultation to talk with me directly about how I can help you to get rid of your double vision. Thank you.